Hello students, today we are going to see chapter number 1 that is graphs in economics of standard 12 commas subject economics. So this is the second part of the chapter number 1. Chapter uh, part 1 is linked in the description where we have seen meaning of a diagram and graph and again we have seen the importance of diagram and graph and the thing is already uh, described in the description. So today we are going to see which aspects supposed to be considered while drawing diagram and graph and again we are going to see the types of diagram. So let's see aspect to be considered while drawing diagram or graph. Now let's see aspect to be considered while drawing diagram or graph. So here um, to make analysis simpler and more effective the following aspect must be considered while drawing diagram or graph. So here um, while we are keeping this aspect in the, into the consideration uh, for diagram or graph must be more effective and more simple. So for that we have to consider the following aspect. In that very first is choice of type of the diagram or graph and their presentation. So here which type of diagram and graph supposed to be drawn uh, that is supposed to be designed by the drawer. So it is the right type of diagram or graph must be chosen to make a picture more effective. So here when we are using the um, right type of diagram or graph, the picture is going to be more effective. Certain data can be presented in a bar diagram as well as pi diagram. So here the data can be presented by pi diagram or by pi diagram. So here it is depend upon the user which one user want to choose. So here the choose of the right type of diagram or graph and their presentation is very important while doing diagram or graph. The second one is clarity. So here a picture must look neat and clear. So here neat and clear, clear picture can be understood nicely. So that is very important. The different type of color and shade may be used to denote the various components of the picture. So here when we want to denote the different component of the picture, the different type of color and shade must be used. That we can use in a pie diagram as well as bar diagram. So component can be seen easily with the help of different different color and scale. So that is also very important. The next one is it. scales and measures. To make, to make a picture look appropriate in size, scale uh, in size, scale must be taken in accordance with the data. So here how much make the data according to that the scale should be taken so that the picture look appropriate in size. So that is also important. The next one is a representation of axis. So here as we know there are two axis that is x axis and y axis. So here the representation of the both data, both uh, axis data must be there. So which data we have used that also supposed to be uh, written on the axis that is uh, number of years that is let's say if there is a uh, diagram, diagram for the let's say from 50, 1950 to 2000 the literacy rate. So for that we supposed to write the uh, number of years and the literacy rate. So both must be presented on the both axis. So here both axis of diagram or graph must be denoted and represented with appropriate detail what they represent. So here what they are representing that is supposed to be written on the both axis. So that is. The fifth one is a data table and source of data. So diagram and graph must be accomplished by the data table from which they are created and by mentioning the source of data the picture become more reliable and authentic. So here whatever data we have taken that data we have taken from which source. So source of the data is very important. So if we are taking from the authentic uh, uh, source that the data is more reliable and more people are going to trust on that diagram and graph. So source must be written in the diagram. The last one is the method of calculating the data. So here when there is a statistical method is there uh, that must be mentioned briefly in the uh, picture. So here when the picture is drawn from the data 
data simplified with a statistical formula, it is appropriate to state the statistical matter. So here, when there is a statistical formula is used, that must be mentioned in the graph so that the uh, reader can understand how they are uh, that is calculated and how the graph is drawn. So here, statistical uh, data must be presented in the method. So um, calculating data must be uh, calculation of data must be presented in the diagram and graph so that the people they can understood easily. So these are the aspects that are supposed to be considered why doing diagram and graph. Students, you may note down this in your notebook. Then we are going to see types of diagram. Let's see types of diagram. So here there are many types of diagram that can be used in economics. But mostly they are, well first is a pitogram, the second one is a spectral diagram, the third one is a line diagram that is based on time figure, the fourth one is a circle diagram, fifth one is a bar diagram and the sixth one is a pi diagram. So here pitogram means the uh, the diagram which is drawn with the help of picture is, is called pictogram. So that is pictogram. The scattered diagram means uh, when there is a on x-axis and y-axis, uh, from the x-axis and y-axis, when there is a plot and that plot when uh, it will show the line that is called scattered diagram. The third one is a line diagram that is based on time period. So because of the factor of time period, whatever line we are getting, that curve is called line diagram. The sixth one is a circle diagram. So whatever uh, we are, uh, we wanted to present, that will, we can present in a cir uh, circular format and that is called circle diagram. The next, next one is a bar diagram. The, uh, to represent the data, when we are using the bar, uh, that is called bar diagram. And bar diagram means the total of the um, data if we are going to take it to the 360 degree and uh, when we are going to represent in a circular format with the help of the uh, angle that is called pi diagram. So these are the different different type of diagram but here in this uh, chapter we are going to study only three type of diagram that is the line diagram based on time video. The second one is a bar diagram and the third one is a pattern diagram. So students, you will note down this and in our next video, we are going to see the line-based time diagram. And uh, uh, thank you for watching this video.